All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, subject I'd like to talk about today is uh, do I need a mid-size engine like a C18 or do I need to go to the C32 in the um, say 60 to 80 foot yacht? Um, I would say in most motor yachts that are big and heavy, the bigger engine is always better. Um, people are always amazed at the performance we get and I actually have outside brokers saying our numbers are impossible when they read the magazine articles. Um, but we've done an excellent job of weight reduction. Everything from cord granite countertops to you know, using carbon fiber for this whole hard top. And that lets us achieve cruising speeds with less fuel and less engine um, than any of the competitors in this class. So what I'd like to show you today is this boat has uh, 1150 cats, which are a six cylinder C18. And it's a 70 foot Marlowe. Um, with a 19 and a half foot beam. So it's a relatively big boat and it's a command bridge. And one would think that this would be a 10 knot boat, but I want to show you what this boat does between 70 and 80 percent load. Um, first of all, when you're running slow like I am right now, I'm running four gallons an hour, four gallons an hour, so eight total, that's 7.79 knots. So I'm roughly one mile a gallon right here. Now the other place I like to run is push this till the fuel burn starts getting a little high. And this will take a while to settle in. But uh, six and six, let's go to 15 gallons an hour. Let's try to get one up to seven. There's 14, 14 gallons an hour, and I'm climbing up toward nine point something. If I was in deep water, I'd be doing 9.2, 9.3. I run there a lot. So just under 10 knots. Uh, burn in, you know, somewhere under 10 gallons a side, between 8 and 9 gallons an hour, depending on how fast I'm going. Now, when I want to get on top, really interesting with this boat. I was actually amazed how well we did with the C18 in this song. And we knew this was true in 65 foot boats and our earlier 57s, but I'm going to put this on, uh, I'm going to get it up first. I'm getting it up on top. And I'm going to back down this engine to run on the higher load. Put this on 70% load. 71%, 67%, 18.9 .9 knots. 72%, 67%, 19.1 knots. Just unheard of in the industry. Now they'll tell you at CAT you shouldn't run more than you know 80%. So where's 80%? So 79, 74, 73, 78, 19.9 knots. Let me bump this down a little bit. I'm gonna put try to get it's hard to get these engines exactly on a spot. Alright, there we go. 79% load. 74% load, 20.4 knots. Absolutely exceptional performance. So the answer is, of course we can put C32s in this boat. It does 30 knots, so it'll cruise at 24, 25 all day long. But I can also put C18s in this boat. Less expensive to maintain, pretty good on fuel burn. Uh, right now I'm burning 47 and 44, so uh, relatively good on fuel burn for the speed. If I had C32s, I'd be achieving the same efficiency actually, probably at 50-60% load. So the C32 boat runs great too, um, but the answer is either engine will work and give you a high sustained cruise speed. Um, I find in the real ocean running these 70-80 footers, we do a lot at 9 knot, and then when I'm going fast and there's real waves, you know, 18 to 20 knots is absolutely fine. There just aren't that many days when you're out in the open ocean where you're running around 25 knots in a cruising boat where people are trying to enjoy living on the boat. Sport fish, different deal. A cruising boat like this, you've got family, grandkids, people are trying to function. This 18 to 20 knot is really the sweet spot. Hope you found that interesting. Please like and subscribe.